Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his wisdom he said two women is one man because in a, a, a state of emotion and look how the sharia is just when it comes to the sighting of the moon one man is like one woman if you go to Sheikh Abdul Bassam rahimahullah his tawdih uh, al-ahkam and other ulama Sheikh Ibn Uthaymi rahimahullah in his Sharh uh, Mumti' Sharh Mumti' of Zad al Mustaqni' then you will see likewise he says the same with regards to the sighting of the moon, the Prophet ﷺ said in authentic narration, all you need is one witness to sight the moon, the Hilal, huh? for the entering of Ramadan. And for the leaving of the Ramadan, you need two. Why? Because the ulama, they mention that for entering Ramadan, Rasulullah ﷺ said, you only need one. That is to come into ibadah. Look how we are encouraged to do ibadah. That is legislated. But to leave Ramadan, you have to be sure not to leave ibadah. You have to be sure not to leave ibadah. So you need two witnesses. And this is the hikmah behind the hadith of Rasulullah which is sahih. And Shaykh al Allah said it's a sahih hadith. That you need one, uh, you need one witness for the entering of Ramadan. And two for leaving Ramadan. And in that situation also, one female witness for the entering of Ramadan. And two female witnesses for the leaving of Ramadan. The same. Why? Because there's no emotion involved. There's no emotion involved. But regarding the zani and the zani and the women... Yani, regarding stoning and that, they may become emotional. See, and, and because by nature the woman has been made yani, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to be like the man. They're not the same. They are equal in the sight of Allah, but they're not the same. They are equal in the sight of Allah. Meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as He has legislated for the man, legislated for the woman, unless otherwise. Unless otherwise. Unless otherwise stated in the Sharia. They get the same reward, insha'Allah. They get, yani Allah is just with them. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in that verse where it says, with Dakir in Allah, Kathirun, with Dakirat. All those verses, Sa'imin, or Sa'imat. And before that, those who give charity, and those male and female, male and female, male and female, A'adda Allah lahum maghfiratan wa ajran azimah. Allah has given them maghfirah, forgiveness, and a great reward. Male and female. So Allah is just. And in Allah's eyes or in His sight, they are equal. But they are different. They have different roles. They have different roles. And some of them, they have different roles and they have the different makeup, if you like. And from the different makeup is, is that the woman is being given this extra emotion, extra love, because she needs that for the child that she bears. She needs that extra sabr for the child that she carries for nine months. And likewise, the two years of weaning. She needs that. Subhanallah. And the man needs that extra uh, 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 yani ability that he has been given by Allah to go out, the strength that he has to go out and work and to provide for the family. So don't swap the roles, ya ikhwan. The woman goes out and work and you're in the house. Don't swap the roles. The men are strong. They have been given that extra strength over women. Yani why? Bima? What Allah, what they? Allah has given them as fadl. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has praised them with and given them honor with. For what they spend, Allah says. For what they spend. What they spend yani, on their families. So that is the, the darajah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed uh, uh, for the men because of what they spend. So I wanted to clarify that just so that yani, it is 